fitness has always been a part of Carolyn Rhodes' life. Well, I was a personal trainer for 26 years, mostly focusing on seniors. Working with senior citizens physically comes with extra care and caution. And in February 2016, Carolyn had something new to tackle. Her husband, Jim, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. At the beginning of his road to treatment, Jim was advised to do therapy and boxing. Jimmy Joy Boy is really my, my boxer Joy name. Boy. Oh, it's your boxer name. Yeah. I got it. So... Uh, you had Parkinson's. I have Parkinson's, and I uh, box three days a week. So oh. I have uh, three classes, 90 minutes at a time, and then I, I coach two classes. What made you want to take over and kind of make this a thing other than your know. own personal gain? <laughs> I don't know, and it's definitely not personal gain. I've lost a lot of sleep over this, <laughs> as you can see here. But it just really has grown. I just said, hey, if he needs this, so do other people. I want to go all the way back to when they found that thumb tremor yeah. and they told you to box. What was your realistic thought? I didn't know anything about Parkinson's uh, other than what you see, you know, and uh, the first guy that mentioned it said, wait, you were uh, special forces in the army, weren't you? And I said, yeah. He said, well, boxing would be good for you. And I said, well, do you hit people? And he said, <laughs> no, you can't hit people. And uh, I said, well, darn. Doctors say that boxing helped Jim with his Parkinson's symptoms. And not only him, but the boxing program has helped over 400 people in the Tennessee Valley. Started taking the classes. What did you feel, empowered? Did you ever feel discouraged? Uh, I felt discouraged. I felt... Why? Uh, well, Parkinson's is a, a lonely disease, and, and you feel like you're the only one that has it. Uh, and I, I just, you know, there's times when I get discouraged, and there, uh, what you, Parkinson's is, what you see is people shaking and so on like that is about, uh, is the tip of the iceberg. 10% of Parkinson's, 90% of Parkinson's is underneath the water, the iceberg. And you can't see. You can't see. Uh, depression, anxiety, uh, a lot of gastrointestinal issues. Well, I mean, look at you. I think in this sense, this class shows you you're not alone. No, Look at you're how not many alone. people. And you are a part of this whole start of this program right. here in Huntsville. The fact that your wife kind of took over, what do you... What, what did that mean to you? It mean, means everything to me. I loved meeting all of them. Next year, in fact, Rutsk Steady Boxing will be expanding and will provide speech, dance classes, and more activities for those with Parkinson's disease, and they will be known as Parkinson's Dynamic.